we are continuing to increase atmospheric CO2. None of us can escape that fact. In May this year, uh, atmospheric CO2 uh, surpassed 400 parts per million. Um, we are well on our way in a business as usual scenario um, to, to 800 parts per million in the atmosphere. 800 parts per million CO2 in the atmosphere by the end of this century. 800 parts per million CO2 would be absolutely calamitous for the planet. Um, we're already in danger of, uh, well, most in the science community all accept that we've missed the target for restricting climate change, glo global average temperature uh, change to two degrees. Um, and we're well on our way to a four degree rise in global average temperature. Uh, and this notion about global average temperature, by the way, is a bit of a misnomer because it, it, there is no real such thing as global average temperature. It just means that at the, in higher latitudes, it could be nine. Uh, in places nearer the tropics, it could be three uh, or two, but that would still be bad. To make matters worse, again, there's another sort of positive feedback. Um, what's basically driven climate change so far, which is CO2, uh, is now beginning to cause uh, the, the um, melting of this, the Arctic uh, sea ice, uh, and in particular in the East, um, East Arctic ice shelf, um, we're now starting to see release of significant quantities of methane. Methane is much more potent greenhouse gas uh, than CO2. Um, but um, it's estimated that there are some 50 gigatons, 50 billion tons of methane stored just off the East, um, East Arctic ice shelf uh, alone. And for the first time last year, uh, scientists witnessed these enormous plumes of methane. Um, some, well, they witnessed two, uh, but in a short, in a, in a fairly short area, uh, it's two plumes more than a kilometer across. Uh, and they estimated that given where this methane is stored, there would probably be hundreds of plumes of methane uh, a kilometer or more across, um, rising from the ice shelf, and that's since been corroborated. If 50 gigatons of methane were released from the East Arctic ice shelf, it could either be released over 50 years or it could be released very suddenly over a decade. Uh, both of those would be, would be a big problem for us. Mm -hmm.